What's going on YouTube? Christo here, and I got something different for you. I was recently in a niche boutique in Jakarta, one of the very few niche boutiques actually, and as a little thank you gift, I was given a whole bunch of samples by the salesperson that uh, was helping me, and amongst those samples were a good number of Le Parfum de Rosine. And I really wanted to talk about these uh, for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, virtually untalked about in the YouTube community. I have talked to a few people in private about them, but um, publicly I have not heard even a whisper about this house. And I think it needs a bit of attention for a couple reasons. First of all, I think because for the most part, fellows do seem to be a little more biased towards wearing women's fragrances. Uh, not always, but I think more so men than women. I think men are usually more deterred by wearing a woman's fragrance than perhaps a woman wearing men's fragrances. I think um, women are a little bit more open-minded about it, in my experience. Uh, and I think that's, you know, unfortunately a big flaw because there's so many great scents out there you shouldn't let uh, gender labeling determine what you like or try. So perhaps, you know, maybe I can get a few of the gentlemen out there to uh, be a little more open-minded wearing feminine fragrances or feminine labeled fragrances. Another reason is the Fragrance Bros. They did their Rose Month. I'm a huge lover of Rose and their videos just made me get even more into it. They opened up my eyes to a few new things, got me interested in a few things. So I thought this would be a really good time kind of riding their coattails, if you will. Um, also another thing um, with Le Parfum de Rosine, I really don't like their packaging. I find it quite out of date and cheap, to be honest. Uh, the first time I saw them, I wouldn't even try them because they look like something you buy at a drugstore for like $25 for your grandma for her birthday or something. Uh, and then after I did actually try them, uh, a few of them I was really impressed with. So, I want to talk about these. I've tried these a few times. I haven't worn them actually out of the house on my skin, but I have been testing them um, a few times. This is the second time I was given samples, but the first time I was given this many, so I was actually able to sit down and try them and look at notes and compare them. So basically all I'm going to do is go from my least favorite to my most favorite, quickly talk about them. Okay, so my least favorite is Vive Le Marie. This here, this one is a fruity floral, and if there's any stereotype in perfume that I generally agree with, it's that I don't like fruity florals. I do find them to be quote-unquote girly, um, something, you know, I would picture a girl in high school to wear. Uh, just don't like them. Well made, I think, but just not for my style. And I don't even think it's something I would enjoy if I smelled on another woman or, you know, a gentleman for that as well. Okay, next. This is one of the few men's fragrances that Rosine does. This is Rose Dome. And I don't really like this one because I find it to smell very dated. This does smell like exactly what I would picture the packaging for a men's fragrance to be. It's just kind of like a dated, classic men's rose scent. Nothing really interesting for me. Okay, next. This is Diablo Rose. And I don't like mint. Okay, I'm going to say it straight off the bat. I don't like mint. So this is mint and rose. And the mint is very dominant. So to me, this one is a pass. But definitely, if you like mint, that is a really nice, unique combination. Just not for my taste. This one here is Un Zest de Rose. Very hard to read the labels on the vials. Uh, this one... This is okay. Um, it does give me a mint aura, though. It has citrus and tea along with the rose. Um, again, it's just not really my thing. It's kind of like a cool, fresh rose. It's okay, but for me, it is another pass as well. 
Okay, this is another one that is marketed for men. This is Rosismo and uh, Rosissimo, sorry. And this one here, actually, as far as I can tell, doesn't contain rose. This is basically a fresh citrus. I like this. I think it's well made, but it's just a bit boring. It doesn't really bring anything new to the table. So even though I like this, I don't think I would buy a bottle of it. Okay, next up, this is Glam Rose, and I believe this is marketed for women, even though it does have a very similar uh, packaging style to the men's that I've just shown you. This one I like. Um, it is kind of a fruity floral. It is a little bit better, though. It isn't too sweet. It does have raspberry. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. I don't think I would wear it, but if I did smell this, you know, on a girl or a gentleman for that, I do think I would really like it, um, as opposed to the Vive la Marie one. So this one, I like it, but I don't think I would be able to pull it off. Okay, let's move these. Okay, um, my top three, and these three here, this jumps really dramatically. From the last one to these, these I really, really enjoy a lot. Okay, this one here, this is Un Folie de Rose, and this one is a very modern take on a classic rose and oak moss, and I really like that. I, I'm a big fan of, an, of oak moss notes, and it's hard to really do it correctly. This one does it very well. I enjoy this a lot. I would definitely pick up a full bottle of this. Um, it does give kind of a classic feeling, like I mentioned, like it's kind of like a modern classic. That's kind of why I put it in third place. Um, I do like Sense to be a little more modern modern. Um, I like it, but it's third place. So second, this these two here, I struggled to figure out which one would go first. Um, Rose Kashmiri, and this one is kind of a Middle Eastern take on Rose. So it's got Rose, Saffron, and Myrrh. And I think this smells great, but the thing is, it's kind of been done before. I've smelled this before. Nice, very well made, but nothing overly new. So I'm putting that as my second favorite, and my favorite, this one blew me away. I love this. This is La Rose de Rosine. And this one has an absolute overdose of floral notes. It's got loads of rose, violet, and iris with a little tiny bit of sweetness. I think this is amazing, and I will, without a pick up a full bottle of this, I was really, really impressed by the scent. It really blew me away. So that's definitely my favorite from the Rosine house. So, um, there you go. There's my quick take on Rosine. Um, I would love to know what you think of this house. Um, I think it deserves some love, especially if you're into Rose. I think this is a mandatory house to check out. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the house, any of the fragrances I mentioned, and any I didn't mention. There's a lot more out there from this house. They've got quite a few uh, fragrances in their lineup. So, there you go. Hopefully see you again soon.